All right, hello guys. So I'm going to show you guys how to animate a ball that is going to be rolling around in a circle. So the first thing we're going to need to do is get out of the perspective window. Go ahead and hit spacebar to bring up your four uh, viewports and hit spacebar over your top view. You need to go over here to curves and we're going to draw out a guide to have the ball roll around. Let's go ahead and draw out a circle. Click on your control curve again and create a, big, a smaller circle towards the middle. Go to polygons, click on your sphere, and it should put a sphere on your grid. If it doesn't, then go ahead and click on your viewport and it should place a ball. It doesn't matter where at this point. I'm going to go ahead and left select everything. Go over here to your channels and go to your translates and type in the number zero and it will center everything on your viewport. Now we want to make sure that we parent this sphere to this control curve so that we can control the ball from this control curve. You want to left click your sphere, hold down shift, and then click on the control curve and then hit the letter P. Your sphere should be left highlighted while the control curve should be deselected but when you click on the actual control curve, it should select the ball and the curve. And then we're going to be animating this scene off of that control curve. Go down here to your time range and on the type in zero and then click on zero in your timeline. All right, so select your control curve and hit your W key to get your translation controls up and move it to the very top of your scene and line it up by hitting the letter F, which is focus. So focus in on the ball and then line up the center point along that guide that you had selected or that you have created. Left click outside of the sphere. Actually, I'm sorry. Hit uh, your control curve and then hit the letter S. We're going to be setting a key on the information that we just created. All right, so we kn we're going to do this over a course of 48 frames, which is the default setting for um, for the Maya for your Maya. Go ahead and go down to your time slider and drag that out to 48. With this selected, go to 24 and drag it down to the very bottom of your guide circle. Hit F to line it up nicely, and then hit S again and then left click outside and hit F. Then deselect your control curve and go to frame 12. Your ball should be at the very center of your guide. Pretty much at the zero point of your viewport. At this point we're going to want to move this over. Again hit F to focus in on it and line it up nicely. Outside click and then reselect. And you should see that where the ball goes is at the north and west and south coordinates of your created sphere. Or your created circle guide, I'm sorry. Go back to frame zero, middle mouse drag, and go all the way over to 48, and then hit S. That's going to create a copy of frame 0 on frame 48. So that when you click on frame 36, you can now drag it back over to the right, hit F to focus in, and then line it up with your guide. So now you have it at all four coordinates. Now what we're going to do is actually create the in-betweens of where that ball should go to help make out this circle quite a bit quite a bit more. That made no sense, but I'm sorry. That's what I got. On frame six, I'm gonna go ahead and move this up. Hit F to focus in to line it up with this part of the grid. And then I'm going to drag it over to the guide and line it up. So now that the ball goes from zero. 6, 12, 
Then over here on frame 18, I'm going to do the same thing. Drag it down. Have to focus in. Line it up with that part of the grid. And drag it over to line it up. Same thing on frame 30. Line this up with the grid. Line it up with your guide as best as you can. Move this up. And line it up. Now we kind of want to make sure that frame 6 and frame 36, I'm sorry, frame 42, are kind of along the same part of the grid. And as you can tell, this one is actually a bit higher than this one. And this one doesn't feel like it's too much in the center of frame 36 and 48. So I'm going to move this one up. One more grid block. Move that over to the ground. And I'm going to do the same thing with frame 18 and frame 30. And those ones are good. So now you get the general makeup of this thing moving around in a circle. Now we're going to want to go into the graph editor and make some tweaks to the actual graph to make this thing go around in a circle much better. So go up to Window, Animation Editors, Graph Editor. Make sure that you have your control curve of your ball selected so that all of the graph information will appear. I have my scene set up in linear tangents so that it goes from one point to another without any ins and outs. So I get a kind of a direct appeal or direct look as far as what my animation is going to look like. However, now I want to smooth it out. So at this point, I'm going to want to go ahead and make sure I hit the flat tangents, and that's going to put every tangent in flat. I'm going to left click the translate X and the translate Z by holding down Control or Command on the Mac, actually, and I believe it's Alt on Windows. I'm using a Mac at this point. <clears throat> and every tangent in between the high point and the low point of each of these controls I'm going to select. After they are all selected I'm going to go ahead and spline so you get this nice flowing feel to each of these tangents, each of these graphs. On the Translate X, however, I want to make sure that I go ahead and put those into linear. This one I want to make sure actually just keeps the flow, whereas the Translate Z is going to have a little bit of an ease in. With those corrected and adjusted, when we go back into the sphere, this should have a pretty good feeling moving around the sphere. And you should watch the center part of that ball pretty much stay very close to that guide. If you start seeing areas like this where it's actually pushed a little away, go back into your graph editor. You see this is on the translate Z. You can actually go in and adjust that control curve just enough to where it better matches up with what you're going for. So now we have a better feel of that going around in a circle. Alright, so that this is part one of this video. On the second part, I am going to actually show you guys how to make this ball appear as if it's rolling around here. Not only moving around in a circle, but rolling along a very specific axis around this so the ball actually feels like it's rolling. We'll apply a shader that will give us a better idea of the ball actually rolling while it's not selected. Alright, so this is the end of part one. Go ahead and look for part two.